thought experiment. How many wars do you think we would have been in over the last five years if John McCain had been elected in 2008 instead of Barack Obama? I mean, talk about elections have consequences, right? I mean, that old, uh, that old Beach Boy song, Bomberan, you know? <laughs> bomb, 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 bomb. <laughs> anyway. Uh... <laughs> anyway, when he was in the middle of his presidential campaign, Senator McCain sang the Bomb Iran song. That turned out to be just the campaign trail part of a long-standing John McCain effort to get President Obama to intervene more in Iran. What could possibly go wrong? Senator McCain has also been on the warpath for the nation of Georgia, when Georgia fought its war in 2008 with Russia. So Georgia was in a war with Russia. John McCain wanted the United States to get into that war as well. The small nation of Georgia has been subject to Russian attacks that threaten its very existence. I know I speak for every American when I say to him, today, we are all Georgians. So could we put the map up, please, of the could have been John McCain wars? So uh, bomb, 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 bomb Iran. Go to war in Georgia on their side against Russia. But oh, wait, there's more. Uh, there's, a, of course, has been war in Libya, even though John McCain is not president. But if Mr. McCain had had his way, it would have been the United States doing that whole thing on our own. If this is our policy that Gaddafi must go, then it seems to me some action needs to be taken. They're not a formidable force. We are the strongest nation in the world. We should be able to take care of their air defenses as well as their air assets without too much difficulty. It shouldn't be too much difficulty. So uh, John McCain wars in Iran, in Georgia, against Russia, a full-bore U.S.-led war in Libya. Anywhere else? Senator could have been President McCain? Some U.S. forces, approximately 20,000, should remain for a period of time to help the Iraqis secure the hard-earned gains that we had made together. I would be very reluctant to reduce uh, the surge troops' capability, support troops. Under a President John McCain, we would have waded into wars in Iran in Georgia, against Russia, in Libya. We would also still be in Iraq. We would not have left Iraq. And we would not be planning on leaving Afghanistan. That's where he said he was against ending the surge and reducing the troop numbers. And now, of course, Senator McCain gets another turn in front of the cameras, where we all pretend to wonder, as if there's any suspense, what he thinks the right course of action might be in yet another country. His line this time is that it would be catastrophic if Congress votes no on authorizing military force in Syria. And also, that he might vote no if the president's proposed military action in Syria isn't big enough. It is all in. Bigger war, more war for Senator McCain, or he will cast a vote that he says would be catastrophic for the country. Go to war in Syria, or the country gets it. John McCain ran for president in 2008 under the theme, country first. He lost that election. He lost that election. He lost and so we do not live in the world he would create if he had or ever had a chance to. Oh my God, do elections have consequences? I wonder how Vice President Palin would be contributing to the debate. That is it for us tonight. We will see you again tomorrow night. Now it's time for the last word with Florence O'Donnell. Thanks.